Hey, what's up YouTube? Greg Nelson here with Love My Garage. I got a little project I'm working on for you here today. I got my 1997 Yamaha Mountain Max. Been a great sled. I've had it for a long time. It's one of my kids ride now. My wife rides a little bit. And anyway, uh, for a long time, as this thing's sitting at idle, it's trying to roll forward. And that indicates that the, the, the drive belt's a little bit too tight. And so the first thing I went and did is checked and made sure I had the correct drive belt, and I did. So the second thing I've got to do is I've got to make some adjustments on what's called the deflection of the clutch. And so I want to show you a couple things. Uh, crack open the hood here. And, and uh, first thing we'll do is we'll remove this uh, little uh, safety guard. And uh, talk about this clutch. This front clutch here is called the primary clutch or the drive clutch. This rear clutch back here is called the secondary clutch or the driven clutch. And what ends up happening, let me grab a belt for you here. What ends up happening is as this belt sits in here, sometimes the belt's a little bit too tight and it rides up a little bit high in between these sheaves and it's very tight. And so as this drive clutch is spinning when the machine is idling, it's trying to move this uh, driven clutch along and it wants to kind of hop forward and move a little bit. And so it's gotta be, it's gotta be adjusted. So I went ahead and I've already removed the belt and I, again, we took off this uh, cover. So I want to show you real quick how to handle this, how to change the deflection on these Yamaha uh, machines. So I've already loosened this bolt before I started the video to kind of make this a little bit easier. So you'll, un you'll undo this bolt right here and you'll pull it out and there's some, there's some washers in here and a spacer, so be careful not to lose any of those. And that'll come out real nice and it'll just set that right down here. Then we're going to take this entire uh, secondary clutch and we're just going to slide it off. And we're going to come over here to the workbench and uh, show you a couple things. So here's all the springs and things that, that, that help engage this. What I want to show you is on the back of this, it's hard to see and not a lot of people know that it's back there, but there's three little eight millimeter bolts back here. And I've already kind of loosened them up, but I'll, I'm going to pop these off real quick. And behind these bolts are these little tiny washers and they call them shims and they're very, very tiny and you would think, oh, that is so small that could never make a difference in anything. And uh, what you're going to find out here in a second is how much difference this does make. So we'll pop these off. And we'll be careful to have these little, these little washers here, these little shims. And um, they're basically very, very thin. In fact, they're just, they're just paper thin almost. And when they come stock, there's two of them on each one when they come stock on this particular machine. So I'm going to remove these. I guess the other ones have already been removed, and I'm going to put these back on again, these bolts back on again, without the little, uh, without the little um, shims. And so we'll put these back on without it. And what happens is this bolt now can push a little bit farther into the hole, and what that does, it causes just a very slight separation between these sheaves. It makes these sheaves separate just a little bit more, just about this much distance. Because we took that out, and so those will will uh, increase or that that width will increase right there. So we'll just pop this back in, and uh, now I've got this back in. And now, if I grab this belt that I had over here, if you take a look at this belt, you can set it up against here, and now the belt fits down inside just a bit. And it doesn't stick up quite as high, so I can actually feel the, the two sheaves that are a little bit higher than the belt. So now this belt's not riding clear up here like this and, and, and trying to get going. So this will loosen up that whole clutching system. And with that being a little bit looser, then as that drive clutch spins, uh, it won't be engaging and trying to grab onto this secondary clutch. So I'll, I'll put this in, we put that back in there, and then uh, we'll screw this bolt back in here. And uh, the purpose of my video is not to show you how to or how not to take on and off your belt. I, there's other videos that have shown that. But now what you've done is you've adjusted what's called the deflection. And when I put this belt back on, it'll, it'll have a little bit of looseness to it. So let me bring that over here and we'll throw that on here. Now that fits in there. And now you can see there's a little bit of looseness in here now. So that will give me the, the uh, extra, uh, extra um, space that I need so that when I start this up, see this, this uh, drive clutch now spins freely without trying to spin this secondary clutch. So there you go. What I've done is I've um, taken uh, the three shims out of those two 8 millimeter bolts in the, uh, in the bottom and we've adjusted the deflection. So this uh, belt is going to ride there right about where it's supposed to be. 
and I'll fire this up in a minute. It'll just run. It'll just be smooth, and it will not grab because there's plenty of space there. So that's how you adjust the deflection on a Yamaha Mountain Max. Now, Yamaha has stuck with the same kind of uh, driven clutch for a while, so many of the Yamaha models will be adjustable like that. I know that the Arctic Cats and the Polarises and everybody's got their own, own way to kind of adjust these sheaves and adjust this deflection, but that's how you do it on a, on a Yamaha Mountain Max. So there you go. That's how you adjust the deflection on a Yamaha Mountain Max uh, in the clutching system. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch the rest of my videos on my channel, Love My Garage. And this is Greg Nelson signing out.